Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today I'm going to share my new iPhone. <laughs> I actually got the iPhone 11 and I'm going to be doing a photo shoot with this iPhone. If you'd like to see a behind the scene, a photo shoot of this iPhone, well, with this iPhone, just give me a like or maybe just comment down below that you'd like to see a behind the scene photo shoot with this iPhone 11 and yeah, you'll definitely get that. Also guys, I want you to go to my personal YouTube page and, and subscribe to that page. I now have 37 um, subscribers and basically this page is for, I'll be talking about relationships and stuff like that. You know, personal stuff and I'll be doing vlogs hopefully soon. I'm so busy, so I really don't have the time. So yeah, so let's get right to the, the retouching. But please guys just hold on i am going to be coming with a lot of behind the scenes both in studio and also outdoors so stay tuned for that all right so this image is what we'll be uh editing today this image was taken in studio obviously and as you can see here i have a wall right here and this is a cloth that is in the background and if you can see over there that's the same cloth and I was using a one light setup as usual. And let's get to the settings real quick. I was using the Z6, the Nikon Z6, and I was shooting with the 17 to 35 millimeter lens. I think that was the lens I was using, F4. And I was shooting at um, 6.8. Sorry, I was shooting at F8. And my shutter was 1 over 1 25th a second, and ISO was 100 as usual this image is not sharp as you can see guys most times you're going to be doing some shoot and you're going to really you're going to have some really nice photos and they're not going to be in focus but guess what you can still edit that photo especially if you're going to be putting that on instagram and you're not going to be printing that photo and it's a nice photograph you can edit that photograph so don't worry about it not being a hundred percent sharp it happens at times all right, so let's get right to the editing right now. I was actually doing a hot series at the time. If you'd like to download my action, my action is on the website. You can check the link in the description. It will show you how to install it as well. And the first thing I'm gonna do with this image is just to duplicate the image. And then I'm just gonna remove any pimples from the skin. I'm gonna press J on the keyboard for the uh, patch tool. And then I'm just gonna make a selection here and remove the blemishes from the model's skin. If you'd like to know what tablet I'm actually using, you can check the link in the description for that as well. You'll see the tablet. All right. I'm just removing any blemishes from the skin. All right, I think that is it. There's nothing else for me to remove from the skin. So I'm gonna do a frequency separation now. So I'm gonna come here to the frequency separation layer. All right, so recently somebody asked, all right, for the radius, it's going to be 6.4. I'm just going to leave it as a default. Uh, recently somebody asked me, what is the high layer for? The high layer is basically for removing pimples <laughs> from the skin. That's what I use the high layer to do, uh, remove pimples from the skin and stuff like that. What is it? Right, so that's basically what it's for. But uh, since I've lately, I don't really use it that much because um, I don't really see the need to actually use it. But yeah, so that's basically what it's for. All right, so I'm going to go down to the low frequency layer. The low frequency layer is basically to even out the skin, um, you know, smooth the skin a little bit. So I'm going to press M on the keyboard for the shortcut. That's my mixer brush. And your mixer brush is going to be nested on the brushes. So once you click on brush and when you, once you hold down on brushes, actually, you're going to see an arrow like this. And once you hold down on it, you'll see the different options. So, yeah, I took my brush out. So the mixer brush is going to be there. So I'm going to use the mixer brush to now just even out the skin here a little bit. I don't want to add too much. I want the skin to look natural as possible. As natural as possible. So I'm just... Barely touching up the skin, just trying to even it out a little bit. Let me zoom it up some more. Just do right here. Because the image is not 100% sharp, I don't really want to add too much uh, of the mixing to it because 
if you do the image is going to look a little bit um it's going to look it's going to look too soft actually so you don't want to add too much to it all right so let's look at the before and after all right so i'm just going to touch it up a little bit more and see what it looks like all right I'm going to do the nose so all I'm doing I'm just mixing with the mixer brush and I'm trying to stay um, in the lighted area highlighted area or the dark area I don't I don't go from the highlighted area to the dark area all right so yeah so if you notice right here the neck is dark right here in dark and I only did here and here and then when I'm finished I do in the center where it's highlighted so you don't want to mix them. Just gonna touch the chest. I really don't want my images to look too soft. So since I've lately, I am just when I'm doing the editing, I'm just you know, like using the brush and just to touch over the image a little bit because trust me, the retouching is not necessarily the beauty of the image. It's basically how the model is actually posing and you know just the whole concept of the shoot yeah so yeah try not to i want it to look as natural as possible she did her own makeup as well so yeah most of my mothers do their own makeup all right so right under the the um what's this called again the lip is a little bit dark so i'm going to use the color correction here press b on the keyboard for the brush and ensure that oh i did not tell you guys what settings you should be using for the mixer brush so i'm back on the mixer brush right here ensure that this is not highlighted once you once this brush is highlighted right here you'll have problems so click this brush and ensure that it's cleared ensure that you're using two percent for the wet and everything else remains the same and do not use sample all layers that is it for the mixer brush settings <laughs> totally forgot to mention that guys but if you've been watching my videos you know exactly what's up but if it's your first time i'm sorry i did not mention the settings for that all right so i'm going to go back to the um color correction layer and then I'm gonna press B on the keyboard for the brush and ensure that my flow is at 1% then I'm gonna make a selection on the skin close to where the dark spots are and just brush sample using the alt key to sample I'm just brushing let's look at the before and after before and after Alright, so oh another cool thing about the iPhone as well is that the iPhone 11 series is that um, if the phone is in your hand when it's ringing it's really really low and then if it's not in your hand if it's like placed on the table it rings really loud and I think that's an awesome feature because let's say you have the phone in your hand and you did not rem remember to put it on uh, silent I'm go, going back to the high frequency layer right now and remove this and it's not on silent it will ring low in your hand and you can you know remember to put it on silence but um yeah it's a really cool feature i love that feature about the phone all right so i'm basically back on the high frequency layer and i'm removing some of the other pimples that i'm now seeing after i zoom up the image so yeah i still use the high frequency layer at times <laughs> uh yeah so that's it oh there's one more here all right so you must be wondering what i'm going to be doing with the background here i am not even sure trust me i might just leave it as is just leave it as is you know what i think i might leave it upload it exactly like how it is right now but anyway I'm going to do dodge and burning now, so I'm going to come here to the dodge and I'm going to be highlighting the uh, highlighted areas. So I'm going to press B on the keyboard for the brush. My flow is going to be at 1% and I'm just going to do the um, highlighted areas. Anywhere the light is hitting, that's where I am actually brushing right now. okay I think that's it I'm gonna go to burn now and I'm gonna do the areas that not much light was hitting so I'm basically 
um, creating a dimension right now because the face is flat so once you add dodge and burning you you know shape the face and the hand or any part of the body let's look at them let me just zoom it up a little bit more let's look at the before and after I'm holding on alt on the keyboard and then I'm gonna press the back ground that's the before that's the after all right so the next thing now I'm gonna color the image so I'm gonna come right here to um, sorry about that I'm gonna come down here to where it says um, I think this is the adjustment layer section right here and I'm gonna go to color balance then I'm gonna go to shadow I'm gonna put 5% of shadow right there I think that's too much but yeah I'm gonna leave it uh, yeah I'm gonna leave it 5% of shadow normally I would use this action right here it's the same thing but yeah then I am going to I'm gonna go to camera raw and see if there's anything I can do with this area is this area is a bit dark so let's see what I can do so control shift alt E to create a new layer control J to duplicate the layer and then I'm gonna go to filter and then uh, camera raw and I'm gonna play with the shadows so I'm gonna pull the shadows a little bit like right there not too much right there should be good I am not sure if I like the color that I'm getting from the color balance but I'm just gonna use this temperature here and bring it down a little bit like right there minus 5 is okay um, let me go over to split tone and see if there's anything I can do I'm just playing with the colors right now Bring this up here a little bit. Uh, maybe I could use that. Let me look at the before and after. So that's the before, that's the after. I think I like this, the original. Uh, it looks more rich. But I'm going to go with this. So I'm going to go with what I've just done. And then what I could actually do is to add some vibrance to it. So I'm going to come down here to the adjustment layers. Then I'm going to go to vibrance. And then I'm going to bring the vibrance to about 17, 18, uh, 18. Let's look at it before and after for that. Before, after. That didn't do much. I'm going to bring it up to about 31. Uh, I think that's okay. Hmm, could use that. All right. Is there anything else I need to do with this image? I think that is it for the image. There's not, there's nothing else I need to do. I'm going to look at the before and after again. So that's the before, that's the after, before, after. I could crop this image. I could just create a new layer again. And then I could just come over here to the crop tool and crop it. But it wouldn't make any sense to me. Trust me, if I crop the image. So I'm not going to do that because that makes no sense whatsoever. So I'm just going to go back here. Good. So that's the finished image. But I just think that I can do a little bit more. I am not sure what else I could do, but I just feel like I could do a little bit more. Hmm. Let me go back to camera raw again and see if I could play with the colors a little bit more and see what happens. But I'm not going to do anything to the background. Let me see here. I could go to dehaze. You know what? No. I am not going to do anything with that. I'm going to leave it as is. Let me see something. W. I could fill some color in here. Let me do that. Color. Backspace. <laughs> yeah, I could just mask out everything and just do it. But nah. I'm going to leave it as is. Sometimes I like these type of things. Yeah. Sometimes I really do. So that is it for the image, guys. Um, this is a quick video. It's very short. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for some behind the scenes that will be coming with soon. And also the photo shoot with the iPhone. I'm also trying to get some other cameras like um, a D5100, a D5300. 
I did 3400 to do a photo shoot with them because I want to show you guys that you, you don't really need an expensive camera um, to get really awesome photos. I believe that you should learn how to use your camera first, learn how to shoot natural light properly, and then when you think you're more advanced, then you move on to a more expensive camera. Please guys, learn how to use your camera. Always try to get a uh, prime lens because you get sharper images from those. Prime lens are really cheap right now. 50 millimeter is really cheap. 50 millimeter lens are awesome. 35 millimeter lens are awesome as well. Try to get those type of lens to shoot with. Master that first and then you think about getting another camera. Like a more expensive camera. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for another video next week Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye bye. Yo, I know what's it. Most of my female will not want to have sex with their male partner because we, as men, we can be very selfish at times. Hi, I'm Andre G. Young. My Instagram is on the screen. Follow me and also subscribe to this YouTube channel.